Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today for a Starlink speed test. As I promised in my last video, I was gonna do approximately a one month check-in since getting Starlink. I'll link to that video using a card on screen now, and I'll also link to it in the description below. But I wanna to use today to give you that update. Now, to be completely transparent, I've had Starlink for about six or so weeks now, so I have gone past the one month mark. But the speed tests you do see today have been pretty consistent over the last six or so weeks. Firstly, there has been a lot of changes with Starlink throughout this beta program. And there was an outage one day for about an hour or so. Now that was well documented on Twitter. People were freaking out, not knowing what was going on. Uh, but connection did restore after about one hour or so. So I wouldn't really get too upset about that. Uh, this service is still in beta after all. Now, honestly speaking, there have been ups and downs in terms of speed over the last six or so weeks. And so in today's speed tests, you'll see speed tests in very overcast conditions and then with clear blue skies as well. Also, just to mention, I'm doing this video because this arrived very recently and I'm going to be mounting the Starlink right here. So before we get it up there, I want to be able to give you speed tests from the exact same position I put my Starlink on day one. If you want to see the installation process when I am putting this on the roof and also the speed tests that I run afterwards, uh, do subscribe to the channel uh, so you don't miss that. Okay, so back to it. As you'll remember from the first speed test I did with my Starlink, the weather was pretty overcast on that day. So for this test, the weather is also very overcast given that it is six weeks on. For the test I run in just a few moments time, it will be a sunnier day taken within the same week. Also in the last video, I used Ookla's speed test, uh, probably the most popular speed testing system out there, but I also want to run the tests today inside Starlink's own app. The actual Starlink app had a brand new speed test system installed on it recently, and it's a lot better than what they were doing originally, just linking you off to a website called fast.com and checking your speed from there. All right, so here we go. I'm on the west of Ireland on a typical overcast cloudy day. Okay guys, so let's go for speed test number one using Ookla. So we're hitting over 200 megabit download approximately 38 or 39 um, ping and the upload is just under 30 just hitting 30 megabit per second okay that's it for speed test number one time for speed test number two and as you can see, it doesn't just go straight up to its max potential. It kind of hits 50, 60, and then pushes on from there. Um, currently at around 185 to 190 megabit per second. The ping is acceptable at around 38. Uh, jitter is seven milliseconds, uh, very little packet loss. Upload for speed test number two is remaining around the same, 30, 31 megabit upload. So guys, as you can see, it's a very gray overcast day here at home. Excuse the mess outside. It's still a bit of a building site out there, uh, but we're getting to it. So now let's move on to the Starlink app and check the speed from there. So with their brand new speed test features, um, it actually is two speed tests. One is the up and down speed test for your device, and then how much speed is coming um, up and down to your router. So at the moment this device was just around 110, 120, 130 megabit per second. This speed test is done literally moments after the Ookla speed test. Now we're up on 140, 160. It just seems to be taking quite a while to get there. And this part I have sped up because it takes an unbelievable amount of time for this router line to go around in a full circle. The router is getting 256 megabits per second download and about 30 upload. Back to Ookla in a different area of the home, just a few meters away on the kitchen table. Um, so I'm approximately 10, about 10 meters away from the router to be honest. And I'm getting some pretty good speeds there on that. Over 200 megabit per second download. Uh, but the upload is considerably weaker, you know, it, it does get to the to the 30 megabit per second upload, uh, but it does take quite a while to get there. Um, still, decent figures compared to what I'm used to. 
And now just to do a very quick speed test from the kitchen table this time as well, in the exact same position just a moment ago, we did the Eucla speed test. Um, so this one is going up considerably more. Maybe I just had a small issue with the phone a few moments ago. So 250, 260 megabit download per second, uh, about 10 meters away from the Starlink router. So not even a powerful third party router. This is the stock Starlink router. And again, I've done a time lapse of this uh, piece because it moves incredibly slow. And uh, the router download speed in this test is just over 206. So a bit of a strange result, to be honest. Obviously just a small glitch there somewhere. So guys, a lot of people on the original Starlink video said, look, those speeds are just Wi-Fi. Those speeds are just on your phone, your device. Why don't you hook up your laptop and wire it to your Starlink via Ethernet cable? So I did so, and these are the speeds that you see here. The speed is still pretty decent, approximately 194 megabit download, and still reaching for about between 25 and 30 upload meg with a ping of 39. And just to double check, I will do another one. Uh, very quickly for you here at uh, 40 ping just a couple of seconds after I've done the last one we're up over 220 download 221 225 229 um, so it does seem to be more than enough no matter what but it's not exactly the same each time upload remains the same creeping up towards 30 megabit upload so now guys time for a completely different uh, day it's a lot more sunny as you can see today there are clouds in the sky but there's a lot more clear blue sky there so one would think having satellite internet that the speed would increase so guys let's run the speed test on the nice sunny day where there's a lot less clouds in the air as you can see guys the speed is above some of the tests uh, that we did on the cloudy day uh, but it's under a lot of others so it seems to me to be remaining quite consistent regardless of the cloud cover and i'll just quickly time lapse uh, the upload here's the second test on the nice sunny day a couple of meters away again and you can see there is quite a boost i haven't changed anything um, major just moved the phone a little bit uh, but as you can see there's a, a definitely an uptake there and in this case we do actually see a little bit of a bump in upload speed okay so let's put the cat amongst the pigeons and open up the starlink app on the sunny day and see what type of speeds we're getting uh, to the device and also to the router I'll just time lapse this little bit and we're up around 140 megabit download. The ping isn't too bad either. And same with the router speed. I'm just going to speed things up a little here and see how much uh, speed the router is getting to it on this sunny day. Uh, approximately 220 download. The ping is respectable also. And let's finish with this speed test uh, back on the kitchen table approximately eight or ten meters away from the Starlink router. Uh, the device is registering around 140. And when the router test finally completes, it is approximately 240 megabit download. So guys, in conclusion, the reality is this. The Starlink system is still in beta. It can be up and down and vary a bit in speed, but it never drops to a level that the whole family can't use it. Is Starlink currently beating out your fiber connection? Probably not. But its purpose is not to do that. Its purpose is for people like myself who live in rural areas who can't yet get fiber to the home. Um, we're not even sure if we'll ever get fiber to the home despite numerous promises. And there seems to be a lot of confusion on this topic inside any of the Facebook groups you might go to on the topic of Starlink. Uh, people do seem confused about what the purpose of Starlink is for and that the system is still in beta. Now I do want to give you my general feeling over the last while with Starlink and to be quite honest with you I love it. It's changed our lives. We've gone from 2 megabit download to on average 250 megabit download. I was extremely lucky to be one of the people um, chosen I suppose you'd say to join the beta program. It was just dumb luck, there's no reason for it, only for my location, potentially Starlink wanted to add another tester in my region, that's it. We've lived in this house for about one year and I'm extremely grateful to be one of the first 100,000 people to uh, try Starlink in the world. What I would like to say is that if you are on the waiting list, please keep the faith a bit longer. Um, it is coming, 
Um, I think there's about 500,000 people on the waiting list before it uh, comes out of beta, which it's said to do in October 2021, which is next month um, from today. If you are in those Facebook groups, it's going to kill your soul listening to people who are saying that Starlink are doing this and doing that. Uh, who really knows? Your deposit is fully refundable. You can pull it back at any time you feel uncomfortable being part of the waiting list. Some people have ordered back in January or February and they're still waiting. And other people like myself ordered in June and got it in July. It's not fair, I know that. But while they're in testing phase with beta, they are selecting where they want to test. So yeah, guys, if you're in dire straits for internet, and you can afford to have the $99 resting um, in, in the Starlink uh, application, I would recommend um, keeping it there. And the simple reason for me is that we just went from such low speeds to it changing our lives. Um, you may get fiber in the meantime, uh, you may get a different service in the meantime, you can pull your deposit back whenever you like. So guys, I really hope you found some value in this video and uh, there is also a lot of value in my other Starlink videos if you care to watch. I did my original speed test, an overview of the exact costs and how they work in terms of um, putting down your deposit and paying the remainder and uh, timelines and such. And also I did a video um, on why you don't have your Starlink yet. Um, people typically don't love clicking on bad news videos, but it is quite informative. And if you're just very confused at the moment, like a lot of people are uh, on the online groups, expecting a Starlink to arrive next week because you ordered uh, this week, it does bring some clarity to the situation. And as I said, guys, next I'm mounting the Starlink to my roof. So please do subscribe to see that video. And of course the speed tests that come after it. Thank you so, so much for joining me for another video. I really, really appreciate it and hope to see you in the next one.